Here we are, finally made it to the Tate. <laughs> the show is something to do with surveillance. Oh, there we go. Exposed, voyeurism, surveillance and the camera. We've been told it's a great idea to visit this because it's one of our projects for next year's course at university. It's on floor four, that's a bit of a, a bit of cue for the lift. That's better. Exposed, this is what we spent all day travelling to get to. No photography allowed. Well, I had to ask for special permission to film inside here, and of course I'm not allowed. I've got a right to the management, etc, etc. But what they did let me do was film the name of all the different artists, many of which I've been learning about over the past year or so at Photographic Art at Newport University. I really, really recommend you go. It's fantastic. It really got uh, my eyes open to photography again, whereas it's been quite closed for some time. And uh, there were some amazing, amazing pieces there. Exit. That was really, really terrific in there. I sort of just rediscovered my love for photography. I recommend you go if you're a photographer anyway, I've already said that. And there's some sense of irony that I can't take photos or record videos in there, even though it's an exhibition on voyeurism and exposed and stuff like that, and it just doesn't make sense. So there's a like, big sign on the door saying no photography, then I'm looking at photos that are essentially illegal in that sense. Strange, really. And the dark thing for me is, is I'm not allowed to put any pictures or videos that I took in that exhibition uh, if I want to have YouTube, AdSense and advertisements placed on my videos. Do I, do, do I want to sell my soul like that or should I just leave the little pictures in? I don't know. Who cares anyway, I didn't take any videos. Well it's half past four now and all you voyeurs have been watching me all day. I think we'll head off to somewhere else in London. Because it is so sunny. Ah, that's St Paul's over there. Oh, I thought Bev was about to take the cliché picture then. If it's still open, I'd like to walk to the monument, wherever it is. I can't see it from here. Cool, that is a fine sight. This sunshine's giving me a massive headache. Where is the monument? I know it's down here somewhere, I just can't remember where. It's going to be closed, I know it. Would have been so much quicker to get the tube, as always. Well, we got here to the monument, but it's a shame we can't go up it because it's closed. It's a shame, really. But wow, check out this dude on the piano. No idea what he's playing, but I think it's ad lib. It looks incredible. Susan's taking photos of me from inside a pub. She thinks she's being covert. There's only one response to the monument being closed. Go into the monument pub that's open and have a nice refreshing drink. <sighs> right, I don't make a habit of filming urinals, but you have got to see this in the monument pub. <laughs> It's a real little football and a goal in every single one. That's so funny. All the suits coming home from work or heading home from work. Uh, claustrophobia. Squeezing. It's all well out and stuffy in here. Jim's got a window seat. Oxford Circus. Yeah, well, we decided to come to Oxford Circus and we can't do much here else but shop and we've got no money, so I don't really know why we're here. Yeah, it's nice just to wander around and not do anything in particular. We're walking down Carnaby Street at the moment and I promise not to buy any shoes. Ah, we're at Piccadilly Circus. 
the hustle and bustle around here is mental. The girls have persuaded me to go to some gay bar. Yeah, that's enough of gay land. We're going to head to Chinatown too. Ch -ch 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 Chinatown. We're just having a good wander around really because Sue hasn't really been to any of these places. I'm not sure if Bev has or Gemma either. We'll come back some other time to do something more specific, I should think. And we're in Leicester Square now. It's got to be time to head home soon, hasn't it? Head home soon? Huh? Head home? Yeah. yeah. It's getting quite late, you see, and uh, not only have we got to go back to the car, which is about 20 tube stops away, we've got to drive back to Wales too. Let's begin the long trek home. Get on quick, get on quick, get on quick. Are you ready, Chickaroo? Choo choo! Time to go home. Chugga 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 chugga. Choo choo! It's been a rather refreshing, fun and enjoyable day out. We all seem to agree. And now Susan's making a racket. That's that's Susan there. She's uh, shouting and everyone's getting annoyed of her. That's enough tubage for me for the next year. And now all we've got to do is find the car. No, Hallelujah! We parked our car over there in London and it's still there after a whole day. Which is wonderful! Ooh, we got about two hour drive home now, so I'll see you when I get home. We're driving home west with a low summer sun. This is not the best time to be driving, I should say. That is pretty much all I can see. Sun. That's loads better. The sun's gone down now. I can see you again. It's turning out to be a totally fabulous sunset as well. I'm glad we're driving home in this direction. Goodbye England, hello Wales. Back home now over the second seven bridge, actually the first seven bridge, but the second one to us because we use the first one first. Gonna take Susan home, then head back to Opal and go to bed. Bye bye Susan. Bye. Been nice seeing you today. It's been nice to go out with you. And that there is the door to my bedroom at Halls in Opal and I'm absolutely exhausted, so I'm going to bed now. It's day 170, 365. Today was a two-parter, and it had a preview because it was gonna be late, and I just need to go to sleep. Tomorrow is the England match. You'll probably be watching this tomorrow, though, on day 171, because it's a late one. I need to go to bed so I can get ready for that, because it's on early, about 1.30, I think. It's day 170, 365. Speed you later, bye.